ever wondered what would happen if we kept cutting something up and never stopped? Like this slice of bread, for example. Cut after cut, what would we be left with? How much could we keep cutting? Thousands of years ago, the great thinkers of those times wondered the same thing. They decided that there would be a point where we could not divide an object anymore. It would be indivisible, or as the Greeks call it, atomos. Over time, scientists discovered through research that all matter, which is anything that occupies space and has mass, is made from billions of different types of atoms. Living things, for example, are mostly made from the atoms carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. An atom cannot be seen by the naked eye. Or a magnifying glass. Let's have a closer look. An atom is so small that if you were to take a needle and zoom into its tip with the help of a powerful microscope, you would see billions of atoms. In 1981, scientists invented such a microscope known as the scanning tunneling microscope. It was the first microscope that allowed us to see atoms. Yes, an atom is defined as the smallest particle to make up matter and take part in a chemical reaction. Atoms are a bit like people. They usually prefer company to being alone. So they join up with other atoms to form what we call molecules. For example, oxygen atoms exist in the form of oxygen gas that we breathe in. Two oxygen atoms pair up to make what is called a molecule of oxygen, also known as O2. Another example is water. Water is made up of water molecules. One water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. This is also known as H2O. We define molecules as a combination of two or more atoms that can be similar or different from each other. Did you know that years after the discovery of the atom, scientists found that an atom was made of even tinier particles known as electrons, protons and neutrons. Time for an exercise. Let's see if you remember the difference between an atom and a molecule. Separate the atoms from the molecules. Let's see how you did. Hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon and sodium are all types of atoms. Hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, sodium chloride and carbon dioxide are molecules. In this video, we have learned that all matter is made up of atoms and molecules. An atom is the smallest particle to make up matter and take part in a chemical reaction. A molecule is a combination of two or more of the same or different atoms.